If you hurt a joint or a muscle, especially if there's swelling, do this one thing for quick relief that's faster and better than popping a pill without the negative side effects. Then add part two of our protocol and you'll know exactly what to do the next time you hurt yourself to get on the fastest path to recovery. Hey, it's Coach e here from Precision Movement and today I'm gonna to share our two-part protocol for when you hurt yourself and you're looking for something to get you out of pain. And this protocol we've used for years. I've used it personally on many different body parts and I've recommended it to a lot of different clients. And generally, it's been very, very successful and everybody reports positive results and definitely no negatives to it. Now, if you like practical science-based advice, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on that notifications bell because we're uploading videos every week to help you move freely and without pain. Now this video came about, the idea for this video came about because Yusuf, our operations guy, he, on Friday or Thursday, he messaged both Dr. B and I and said, I popped the outside of my knee and he's crying and screaming in agony. And what happened was Dr. B and I independently recommended the same advice. And because we recommend this all the time, we wanted to break it down for you and share it with you in case you suffer an injury so that you know what to do right away to get on the complete path to recovery. So part one of the protocol. Right here, it is contrast therapy. Now you might've heard of this before, maybe not. Also goes by the name of contrast baths or alternating hot and cold therapy. And we use this directly on the joint that's affected. And I personally think that it's more beneficial if you injure your knee, that you do this right on the knee, as opposed to do it for the whole body. How do you do it? We're cutting right to the chase here, because if you're in pain, maybe you wanna do this right now. You just pause the video and do it right away. It's very simple. We recommend five sets times 30 seconds hot, followed by 30 seconds cold. And both hot and cold, you do it as hot as possible and as cold as possible. Obviously you don't wanna burn yourself and burn your skin or get frostbite, but if you're doing it in the shower, generally it's pretty safe because you're not gonna get boiling water coming out of the shower. So as hot as possible, as cold as possible, switch between the two as quickly as you can. So kind of really overshoot it as well if you can and then bring it back down to as hot as you can bear. And when you're doing it, make sure that you breathe. And this is because of the mechanisms that we're gonna talk about. But if you're in pain right now, whether it's your elbow, your knee, I've used it on my shoulder, my elbow, my knee, my low back, my hip. I've used it on my groin, not very fun. Kind of reminds me of the Seinfeld shrinkage episode. Well, I just got back from swimming in the pool <laughs> and the water was cold. Uh, <laughs> you mean shrinkage? Yes. Use it wherever, wherever you're hurting, give it a shot and rate your pain before Move it around, move your joint around a bit, whatever is injured, and then rate your pain and move around a bit after. And you could be your own lab rat in this case and you'll get your own results and you'll see for yourself. Now, after you do this, the common benefits include increased range of motion, decreased pain, and you just feel better. And what I've found is even with doing nothing else, I play hockey late at night, so I don't typically like to do exercises or anything. The next morning I wake up and I just feel better if I tweak my knee or injure something. So those are very typical benefits that people report after doing just one round of contrast therapy. Now, why does this happen? I used to recommend this and I never looked in through the science, but basically, if you think about it, cold, constricts vessels, hot, dilates vessels or expands vessels. And what do, what do tissues, whether it's a muscle, a ligament or a tendon, what do tissues need to repair and recover? They need blood flow that brings oxygen and other nutrients for those processes. So by pumping and going constriction, expansion, constriction, expansion, you're pumping more blood flow through, you're increasing circulation, so you're bringing oxygen and you're bringing nutrients, and that theoretically would help facilitate recovery and repair. Well, I actually 
for this video, I did a little bit of a literature review, went through PubMed, read through a bunch of studies, and I found a good study that studied the physiological mechanisms that take place from contrast therapy. The title of the study is Contrast Baths, Intramuscular Hemodynamics and Oxygenation as Monitored by Near-Infrared Spectroscopy, and it was published in the Journal of Athletic Training in 2018. The protocol they used is they immersed the subjects lower leg in hot water for 10 minutes, and they alternated to cold water for a minute, followed by four minutes in hot and one minute in cold for another three reps. And the studies are shown in this graph. Now the black bars are the contrast bath condition and the white bars are the control condition. The first pair of bars shows tissue oxygenated. And you can see that the contrast bath condition has much more tissue oxygenated compared to the control. The next set of bars is HHB, and this is tissue deoxygenated, and there's no change here. Now, ATHB is total hemoglobin, and you can see a big difference, way more total hemoglobin in the contrast bath compared to control. And the final pair of bars there is TSI, which is the tissue oxygen saturation level, and there's a greater tissue oxygen saturation in the contrast bath versus the control. And from this study, the authors conclude that the effect of contrast bath application in improving the tissue hemodynamics and oxygenation that are considered essential mechanisms of tissue repair may therefore support the therapeutic use of contrast bath in rehabilitation and sports medicine. So that right there is a very clear result as to why this works. Basically, increased blood flow equals increased nutrients and the factors needed for recovery. Every tissue needs oxygen and other nutrients to recover, and by increasing blood flow, you're bringing more of those things into that area, and you're taking the waste products out. So that's part one of our protocol. Now, this is really good, and this can take your pain from kind of a sharp, really, really severe, annoying, you can't think of anything else pain, down to a level where it's there, but you can get on with your everyday life. Part two is what you need to ensure that you have a full recovery. And what we like to do right away in part two is isometrics, isometric muscle contractions. And this is where you're contracting the muscle, but there's no joint movement. So if you have an injury, then because you're not moving the joint, you're putting very, very little stress and strain through that joint. But by getting the contraction of the muscle, you're preventing atrophy of that muscle and further weakness from occurring. And you're also telling your brain, hey, this muscle's still working, so we don't have to kick in other compensatory mechanisms. You might have seen or you might have experienced yourself if you ever had an ankle sprain or a knee problem where you're limping around, you might be fully recovered, but you're still limping somewhat. You're still changing the way you're moving. And when you start to contract the muscle and use the injured area as soon as possible after an injury, you're gonna to help to prevent those long lasting compensatory effects from really taking hold and affecting the way that you move for the long term. Now, I'm not gonna go through every joint and how you can perform isometrics there, but basically if I'm looking at my arm, an isometric is simply contracting all the muscles around the elbow joint here. So if I injure my elbow, I do contrast, and then I do isometrics, and we can ramp it up. We like to ramp things up so that you can get to a level before you get any sharp or sudden pain. Hold it there for 10 to 15 seconds, and then you ramp it down. And you wanna to try to restore range of motion. It might not be possible, but if you can, try to restore, if it's the elbow, try to restore full elbow extension. Now go slowly, do a rep here, do a rep there, then do a rep there and keep going. If you don't have any sudden or sharp or scary pain, keep going until you get that full extension, if you can. And if you can't get it within the first 24 hours, make sure you get it as soon as possible. So isometrics is part two of our protocol and we use this to make sure that you get on the fastest path back to recovery. Now this isn't all that you need to do. You need to address the injury but you also need to address the root cause of the injury. And for wear and tear injuries that accumulate over time, and it might be you're running and you tweak something and you might think, oh, I just landed funny. But usually those types of injuries 
are wear and tear. The tissue is already broken down and it's just that one way that you moved that was the straw that broke the camel's back. So you've got to get to the actual root cause. And what we've done is put together our pain solution programs that get to the root cause and address all of the factors and areas that need to be addressed to ensure that you don't incur the same injury over and over and over. And whether your injuries are at the neck, the thoracic spine, the shoulders, elbows, the wrists, hips, low back, knees, ankles, or feet, we got you covered. So what you could do is you can click the link that has appeared down here to be taken to an image kind of like that, but a little bit better, where you just tap on what hurts and that'll take you to the appropriate program to get you the full recovery, the best that we have to offer. We've also got another video that popped up for more information on swelling from Dr. B. That's a deep dive, so you can check that out. Thanks for checking out this video. You can use this now for the rest of your life or the next time you get hurt and keep moving.